Hey, what's up guys? SkillsWG here and welcome back to another Brawler video. Today guys, we are not doing anything. We are doing, we are in the training room because I am going to go through some of my favorite and most fun gun strings in the game um, as of right now. Uh, this is no, by no means all of the strings, all of the combos. Um, I do not know them all. There's so many that it is just insane. Uh, but this will be a fun one to go over. Just show you my best, my favorite that I like to pull off in game. Um, this is not going to be a super amazing like guide or anything. I've I spent. I'm not going to lie. I spent the last 15, 20, 30 minutes trying to figure out how to record this. And, and you know, I'm just going to do it my way. I'm just going to do it as if I was just going to talk to you guys about it because I try to do all the fancy ways, the editing and stuff. I can't. I can't feel like I can do that right. I'm just not a like, hey, do this kind of guy. I'm just going to tell you what it is, and we're going to go with the flow, okay? It's not going to be great. It's not going to be perfect, but maybe you guys will enjoy it. Let's go from there. All right, so the first few reads, actually quite a bit of them are based on dodge in reads. So a lot of people in this game, especially lower rank, gold-ish area, plat a little bit, they like to dodge in towards you. So if you attack them, they like to dodge in quite often. So the f first few are going to be based on dodge in reads. And are pretty amazing. I'm not gonna lie. You don't want, you do not want to dodge in against blasters if you know these these combos. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is down light side air. Boom. Perfect. Let's get a little bit of damage on him though. Just a little bit. There. See that's perfect. Just like that. So do You can do a gravity gravity. Ooh, sorry. A chase dodge, reverse down air right there. Followed by a falling side air. Boom, perfect. Now you can slow down the video if you want. Um, I maybe I will slow down the video a little bit so you guys can see. But like I said, it's not working for me very well for <laughs> doing the editing like that. So we'll just go with it. Um, but that is a very very good dodge read. Actually, with following the same beginning of the downlight side air, you can do a gravity cancel downlight side air, which happens quite. It, it hits a lot more. Of those dodges instead also a little also a little bit more risky though boom very good very good they're both about the same damage wise pretty good all right this is based on a down air after you hit a down air they're gonna dodge through and then you're gonna hit a reverse down air followed by gravity cancel down light side air okay boom just like that a lot of people like to dodge in and you can do that. You have to make sure that the problem with this one is you have to make sure you go down to the ground all the way before you do the next move. Because if you don't, you're gonna you're gonna be too high, and you won't be able to see. I won't be able to gravity cancel down light. So you actually have to fast fall to the ground in order to hit that just right. But it's a very good move. I use it all the time. This actually works with a lot, like a lot of dodge reads. So you can do. So actually, let's say we're gonna do it away. Something like that. Um, the same thing you can do with gravity cancel. Boom, perfect. And um, the higher the health, I believe you can do a chase dodge towards them. Let's try that again. Maybe it's a diagonal down. Yeah, okay, that was definitely it. So you gotta do a diagonal down read in order to chase them away and do a jump perfectly. You can't follow up any more than that, but that is a pretty insane read. All right, after a falling side air, they're gonna dodge in. Boom, you could, you can, I think you can hit him a little bit higher. Ah, uh, it's not, a, not quite good enough. I believe you have to do a falling side air there. I believe you have to do a falling side air. There you go, that's the string right there. So, once they di dodge in after a side light, so boom, true combo. There you go. So you have to do side air, side light, true combo, followed by dodge in, read, down air. Can I hit this person already? What? Oh, you can't hit it sometimes. 
That falling cider at the end is the is the right play to go for though, because the down light is not very not very consistent with it. So definitely go for a falling cider after that. Say they're pretty highly damaged, and you go at them with a side like that. Like that. A lot of times they want to dodge in because they're close, especially if they're close to the edge of the stage like this. They want to dodge in to be the inside the stage, you know. But you can follow that up with a easy recovery, and it almost kills. And you can if. They're at a, like, because side light doesn't hit them any higher. So if you hit side light and they dodge in, recover, easy kill. I've done this so many times, I cannot tell you how many times I wait for people to just dodge in. So I can destroy them with a recovery. This actually also works with uh, dodge away. Except for you have to do a dash, so you have to hold down after you do a side light, dash, and then jump recovery. Okay. Oops, let's try this. Side light, dash, recovery, dead. Oh, not dead. I must have missed one there. Must have missed one there. Let's try that again. Dead. There it is. Dominating. Just like that. But you have, to, you have to kind of guess which way they're going to go because if they dodge in or. Dodge in or away. You just got to guess by that. Either way, both kill moves. And side light hits them right in the perfect area up here. That if they dodge right, you're in the perfect recover and dodge left. And same same with spot dodge. Let's say a spot dodge. You have to be more aware of this. Because it's a little bit harder to hit. You have to be more patient with it. Boom. Just that kill. So it kills any left, right, or neutral dodge right there. So it's a very, very good combo. So I'm not sure why people like to do this, but after a down air, some people like to dodge through. So you could just do something like that. And they go to the ground, right? And it, that I guess the same works with the dot in and down and straight down. So let's see what happens when... Let's just do a straight down read. So he dodges straight down, so... Whoop. Perfect. A lot of, like when you want to dodge down. So I do a, after I do a down air, I do a downward right diagonal chase dodge to the ground. And then jump side air, down light jump side air after that. A fun little simple one to pull off is after hitting a neutral light, a lot of people like to dodge straight down. So just hit them with another neutral light, double neutral light. Good damage. Whoop. And there you go. Good damage, simple string, it's not much, but people do it. Sometimes you can follow up with like chase dodge, um, recovery like that, because they will not have a dodge after that, so they can go anywhere. You can do something like that. And a lot of people actually do that, surprisingly. If you know they're gonna dodge down, just hit them again. So when people are off the stage, especially at lower health, they like to earn uh, higher, sorry, lower, like gold area stuff. They like to what we call panic jump. Panic jumping is where they just feel like you need to get back to the stage as fast as possible so they jump immediately after every attack. So what you do is you just do jump side air after every time they jump and you can hit them so many times. And it happens over and over and over again. If they do it more than twice in a row, they're probably going to not do it again. And then their fall, so you might be able to hit a falling side air after that too. But I can't make the bot do that. I can't tell you how many people fall for a multiple jump side air like that. Quite a bit, actually. Another, a really good move to perform after any string is a neutral air. It's not, it doesn't really combo into anything but itself. You can hit a couple neutral airs up, up like that. But it's still, if a good, if your hit, person is getting out of a lot of your strings, you just want to hit some neutral airs. They're just doing some weird dodging. If they're in the air a lot, just hit some, try to hit, go for some neutral airs. They tend to be pretty easy to hit. And you can like throw out multiple ones at a time and hit them. All right, so here's here's another good one. Right after you, if you hit a ground pound, try to immediately recover. All right, try this again. Low, low health read, boom, almost perfect. It can't, if you do it too high, that's gonna be easy to get it out. If you do a too high, it's gonna be too easy to get out. Cause if you do it at low, at minimum health, like yellow right here, there, it's almost almost immediate. You can definitely get out of it, but obviously with the recover or with the dodging right there, they have no dodges to get out of it. 
So it's very unlikely they can actually get out of it. Now this is just a straight up combo. If you guys don't know this, you sh definitely should. It's a true combo. It's not a string, but if you don't use this as blasters, you're kind of missing out. It's the gravity cancel, dash, jump, recovery. Very tough to pull off every single time, but it's it's pretty good. So it's the, but the thing thing is is you can't. In order to dash after after a downlight and not chase dodge, is you have to push down on the ground to dash. See, I'm, I'm holding down and I'm dashing right now. But if I do an attack and I try to hold to the side, I'm just going to chase dodge, which makes it too slow. So after the downlight, I dash. See how I dash like this after I hit the downlight? Dash. So then after you dash, you just jump immediately and recover. And then when you recover, you have to hit your opponent and you have to steer it back. You have to steer it back into the person because if you keep, if you just let it go, you're just going to miss. It's a great move. It's true. You can kill them at earlier than normal. I really don't know much more to say about that one. <laughs> it's just a good move. It's crazy. I use it all the time. You should, you need to if you're going to be a good Blasters player. Alright guys, that's going to be it for today. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, it's not perfect. It's not amazing. <laughs> I just did it because uh, I feel like it's something that people will ask for from me. Uh, they have asked, what do you do? You know, they, I haven't made a Blasters like tutorial in forever. Um, so it's kind of nice to do something like this again. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button or the like button. Also, follow me on Twitter. I've been on there a lot more lately. Um, and thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.